Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can easily make $1,000 a month buying and selling used shoes. Let's go hit the streets. All right, so we just got to Hearth, and I know we got the heat case over here. We might have to take a quick peek, but either way, we got to take it over to the used section because we need to find some deals. What do we have here now? They got some Jordan 13s. This is pretty solid. What's the price tag on this thing right here? Mmm, 180 bucks for a size 14. I got to check the market on that one. Got some ones. I know we, we always want to look at some more trendy sneakers as well. Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, different things like that. That way you know it's going to be hot in the market. People love to see stuff like that when they're purchasing. $7.50 for a size 14? This is crazy, bro. What do you guys think about the black pads? Honestly, I'm still blown by when it comes to the pricing on this shoe. Insane. I still got mine, so I don't really need to get those. Uh, and the price is just not really hitting right there what I need. $5.90. This is cool. Ooh, what do we got here? $2.20. That's not bad. $3.20. What do we got right here? Size 13. 180 bucks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. All right, so they got the Glow 4s right here. <laughs> And these things are looking clean. Got a little sock lint, a little dirt on the bottom. Nothing too crazy, but the upper, the upper is looking good. So we gotta check out and see if they got these. Let's go. Come on, let's go over here and see what they got. Yo, uh, Yo what's up, dog? I for sure need to get these, bro. All right. And I also need to see. Do you guys have like any other like beaters, beaters kind of type like thing? I was looking over here. I mean, we could run through this wall a little bit more, but I saw a couple other things as well. I saw y'all had some, yeah, some uh, 72 tens. Some, yeah, jubilees, some, steals, some, some solid prices on these. Yeah. Um, but I need something that's like, you know how you got the shoes that like they come through the uh, store yeah, yeah, and then you uh, just don't want to put them on the shelf because they're that dirty? Yeah. I Give think I got the a shoes I'm looking for. I think I got a couple. Okay. okay. I'm, check out. I need those and I need to see what else you got. Alright, let me check the back. Alright, for sure. So he's gonna look in the back. So this is what happens. When you go to sneaker stores, like they get a bunch of inventory, they buy bulk collections, you name it, all these different things. And sometimes they get shoes that are just beat up and they don't really want to put them out on the shelves and present them and sell them, or they don't have like a little beater bin, or sometimes they only do dead stock. Ask them about the shoes that they have in the back. I promise you, it's gonna work. Like there's gonna be times where there's gonna be stores that just got random shoes sitting, collecting dust. They don't really see any value in it. And you can come in and find something good. So hopefully today we can find something, but typically at most resale shops like this, there's always something in the back. So. I think we're looking good today. Another one that I found while I was waiting, they got the Doom Foam Posit Pro, bro. 200 bucks. I might be out here copying some kicks. I know the Foam Posit is coming back, bro. What you got? Oh, he got some shoes over here. What's the All right, like? we, we got a few beaters here. It took me a little bit to find them, but okay. we got a few beaters here. We got obviously right. got the teals. Yep, we got yep. the green glows. Need that. Got the Neapolitans, Ooh. maybe coming for the wifey. Yeah, them see? This is what I'm talking about. You see all that dirt on the shoe? Like on the bottom and the back, it's creased up a little bit. But the upper is in really good condition. I know it may not seem like it, but this is actually, this is a solid one right here. A little dirt on there. And then last but not least for you, I found these uh -oh. 13s. Dornbecker 12s. Oh. <laughs> Bro, is this the price on it? Yeah. 180 bucks? Can you do better on this? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna see what we can look. Bro, there is like nasty <laughs> stuff on this shoe. Look at this. This is kind of for hell. <laughs> All right, I think I might have to grab these. For those that don't know, this is, this is, this might be the one right here. <laughs> Honestly, both of these, this, what, what's up with these two? We're gonna do some negotiating. Yeah. I'll be right back at you guys in a second. A few minutes later. All right, you guys, so I just got the shoes. I'm gonna show you what I got when we get to the house. I'm excited, we got some work to do. All right, so before we start talking about numbers and the potential price projections, we gotta make sure we properly clean these sneakers first to see what the true projected values are. So for those that don't know, Pink Miracle is one of my favorite sneaker cleaners to use, and I've been using them for many a years now, as you guys have seen on the channel. And I always get a lot of people asking me which shoe cleaner do I use. So this right here is the Pink Miracle shoe cleaner, and this is the disinfectant spray that they make as well. I always spray this on the inside of my shoes after I get done cleaning them up, just so I can make sure everything is sanitary and good to go. And if you guys are interested in getting some of this for yourself I made sure I got a discount code for you as well so use the discount code DNA show and that'll get you guys 10% off of all your orders the link will be down below in the description now let's go ahead and get to cleaning this shoe so the bottom of these honestly isn't too bad we're definitely gonna need to do a little bit of scrubbing I'm gonna hit this actually with the toothbrush so we can get a little bit of those detail cleaning in and then besides that we got to take care of this upper because these things are wild <laughs> 
Now you can see that there's a little bit of yellowing on both ends on the back and the front, but you can still see the logos and the designs with the dog right here and the baseball on the back end with the heel. But these could easily get put in the ice box and get that translucent look back. But for me personally, I still think we can get away with it right now. And I made videos in the past showing you guys how to get yellowing out of sneakers. So if you need any help with that, I'll link that down below in the description as well. But for the most part, the outsoles are looking good. So let's go ahead and take it to the upper and get these things cleaned up. Okay, these things are looking really good right now. I am so excited to show you guys the differences between the before and afters because yeah, these are coming out nice. So I'm gonna let these dry and see if I need to make any final touches. Now let's go ahead and clean the Jordan 4 so we can see what those look like as well. So like I said earlier, the upper is really nice on this shoe. That's why I picked these in particular. All I gotta do is clean the bottoms and then pick out some of the sock lint on the sock liner and spray them down and disinfect it and clean the insole a little bit. But for the most part, these shouldn't take too much work. All right, so the outsoles are looking good. Like I said earlier, the upper looks straight. Now we just need to fix the laces a little bit to give it that dead stock look, fill in the shoe, make sure there's no creasing right there. Okay, so now we need to get these lint balls out of here. So what we're gonna do is hit this real quick. All right, so the sides are already looking good. We got a little bit right here in the back end with the crack, but we can scrape this out with our nail and it shouldn't be too much issue just getting that out. But this already looks way better by having that fixed right there. We get these things laced up and uh, we'll see what the final results are looking like. So these shoes are definitely looking really good. The inside two pairs right here are gonna be the clean pairs and then the dirty pairs are on the outside. And hopefully some of these images will show you guys the before and afters when it comes to the 12s. Just some images from the upper on here, how dusty and dirty it was and how nice it came out at the end after cleaning them up and then cleaning the outsoles, just getting some of that excess dirt off of the toe and the back end of the sneaker. Again, we talked about the yellowing. That's something I could go after by fixing, but honestly, I plan on throwing these into my rotation, so I truly don't care about the yellowing when it comes to this. And on the Green Glow 4, you can see mainly on the upper, didn't need too much work. Just laced them up, got them cleaned up right there. The sock liner got that cleaned up as well. And then on the outsoles, did some good scrubbing on there and got those cleaned up and just looking a little bit nicer. So when I look at these two shoes compared to other used pairs that are available on GOAT, here's a comparable pair of the Dornbecker 12. They got around 450 bucks. Now those have the original box, these don't but I got these for $150. So that's a $300 spread. Now I can say these aren't as nice as that pair in the picture, but who's to say if that pair is listed at 450, I couldn't easily list these at 350 bucks and potentially get a buyer. So for this scenario, we're gonna say that we sold the shoe at 350 bucks and after fees, next thing you know, we got 300 bucks in total just to play it worst case scenario. When it's all said and done, getting the sneaker for 150 bucks and then reselling it, you still have an opportunity to double your money and profit $150 off this pair of shoes that they didn't even care about. And this is definitely another prime example of some of the things we talk about in the Hobby to Hustle program. I have a full eight week course that'll teach you everything you need to know about the insides and outs of the shoe game. And then we have monthly live meetups as well where the community gets together and I help you guys with any questions or answers you guys may need, or we just catch up and have a good time. There's also monthly challenges in the community where I give away free shoes literally every single month. And there's a bunch of group chats where we keep each other informed and up to date on all the latest greatest releases. So if you wanna join the community, consider hitting the link down below in the description and I'll see you guys on the inside. But we gotta talk about the Glow 4s because the margins were a little bit different on those. Now these in particular I got for $180 and somebody's asking for a very similar pair with the OG box and I have the OG box, around $325. So $180, $325, let's say we quick sell the sneaker somewhere around $300 or we could even play it safer and say $280. Either way, that's still a hundred to $125 margin just off a of profit off of a sneaker like this. Now it's not as big as the Dornbecker 12, but the more work you gotta put into a sneaker, typically the more profit you can make. That's another prime example as well. But either way, if you're looking to get dirty and do the hustle and do the grind and go meet the people and do what you gotta do, these are the type of things that can help you make a couple hundred bucks every single day. As you continue to stack and pile more sneakers, next thing you know, you could easily be making a thousand dollars a month with no profit. Problem. And one of the reasons why I say this is, this is kind of how I got into the shoe game. I had to buy some used shoes, and yes, I got new sneakers at the same time, but if you want to get a dope shoe and have it in your collection that's going to hold a good value and know that you can resell it later,
later and still make money or even way later down the line and use that for a down payment for a property which again we talk about in the hobby to hustle program all the time either way these are things that will help you take your shoe game to a whole nother level or turn that hobby into a full-time hustle so if this video was helpful make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in another one I would never let you down, it's in my DNA hey, hey, The hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today one of those, one of those. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA